Hi right, guys, a very quick video here. I've got a Samsung TV. It's a UE32D5520. Um, now this series of TVs suffers from a very um, common problem. It's um, software corruption in the NAND IC. And um, what you have to do is take the NAND IC and reprogram it. Um, now I'm going to show you in this video a simpler way of uh, reprogramming the NAND IC. Um, you download the software from the Samsung web Samsung Samsung website, and um, when we put the TV on, you'll notice that it doesn't stay on long enough to actually get the software into the chip. So I'm going to show you a trick what we use in the trade, and uh, it's a little known trick that freezing memory chips actually gets the chip to retain its data while the power's off now if you cool the chip enough um, the some the uh, chip can retain its data for up to a couple of hours so first of all we'll just switch on the TV and observe the symptoms right let's wait for the camera to come back into focus right so here's the problem switch on the TV comes on and then it reboots and then if you uh, watch it the Samsung logo will come back on but the camera keeps going in out of focus so um, if you take a look at that now all this all this um, TV wants is the NAND chip reprogramming, um, but the problem is it doesn't stay on long enough to reprogram it. So assuming you've got your um, software downloaded from the Samsung website, you've got it on a memory stick. I'm going to show you how to put it in, how to keep the TV on while we actually load the new software, because as you can see, part of the TV is working. The software program's running all right, and then it gets to a certain point in the software when it decides something's crashed and it reboots. So what we need to do is we need to freeze the chip. This is a bit of a pain, the camera going in and out of focus. Um, we need to freeze the NAND chip to about minus 40 degrees so it retains its good data um, and the set will stay on long enough to reprogram it. So um, let's just turn off the telly turn it round and um, right so what you need is a tin of this freezer spray it'll take the chip to minus 40 um, that there is the NAND chip that's the chip in question we want to freeze that to hold its data to get the set to stay on long enough to reprogram that from a memory stick. So here we go. Give the tin a shake. Blow on it, you'll see eyes forming. Now keep blowing on it to get uh, the chip actually goes cooler when you blow on this. So we need more spray. And then what we need to do is we need to let the coldness actually soak into the internal parts of the chip. So a bit more spray. That's what I'm using. Freezer spray. Right, it's getting colder now. Um, the white residue you can see is actually ice forming. So we want a bit more ice on that chip. We need to get it a little bit colder yet. Right, that is about as cold as it's going to get. So I just leave that for 30 seconds or so to make sure it's really, really cool.
Yeah, that should be okay. Move back, turn the telly around. And... Let's turn it on, see what happens. suspicion of causing death by dangerous driving right now if you remember before it was about five seconds before it went off right okay it's um it's actually rebooted the chip's still not cold enough so we turn it off turn it round yeah it's warmed up again Right, that's even colder now. You can see how much ice is actually sitting on the chip. So we're just going to wait, um, just wait a few minutes while that coldness actually soaks in, then we'll turn it back on again. See, it's absolutely frozen up now. There's that much ice on top of the chip. Right, one more quick blast. And turn the telly around. Turn it on again. The new owners started with a 2 0 defeat at Middlesbrough. In the FA Cup, Accrington Stanley are through to the second round after a 1 0 win over Colchester. So now, if you remember before, it was something like five seconds before it went off. So if we switch it on now, if we count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You can see I've counted well over five seconds now and the TV stopping on. Now this TV, while that chip's super cold, this TV will now stop on long enough for you to update um, the NAN chip with a USB memory stick. Before we had only a five second window. This will stop on now for a considerable long time. It'll be well long enough to reprogram that chip now without putting a new one in. So um, let's just watch the weather a minute then.
Hello, very good evening to you. Well, we definitely had that mixture across the region today. It was a lovely start for many first thing this morning for a morning walk. But yes, we did see the cloud bubbling up and showers developing from the south and west during the afternoon. And as we head into Remembrance Sunday itself, anyone... There you go, guys. That's been well over a couple of minutes now, which is plenty of time to put a software USB stick in the side and reload the software. It's actually a fairly cool start to Sunday. We've still got some showers in the mix overnight tonight. It's more likely lingering to Western Fringe. So that is how you update um, a TV, which is in a boot loop. And um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for some more tips. I'll just uh, let the camera run a few more seconds so you can see it's staying on well long now. So tomorrow morning, some morning mist and fog, fairly cool start with some sunshine, but you can see there are a few showers. They'll be moving from southwest to northeast during the middle part of the day. Hopefully a little bit drier and brighter for the afternoon, but still the risk of a shower. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye. She'd say it doesn't look too bad, but again, mixed by midweek. Take care.